Kia ora, Helen Brums here coming to you live from <laughs> Goodland, Kansas. No, yes, Goodland, yes, Kansas, yes. How's your day been? Mine's been super fantastic and sparkling. Um, no, I haven't cut my hair, I've clipped it up. It's, um, God, it looks a mess, but it was a lot cooler. It's been hot here today. It has been, um, was it 90? I know it was 33 degrees Celsius, so whatever that converts to in Fahrenheit, yeah, but low humidity, like 31% humidity, which has been awesome, and it's been really dead. We had to move sites today, so we moved to one which gives us like full sun exposure, because we stayed here for one more night. Um, still trying to figure out where I'm going to stay in Colorado Springs, have been searching all day, but we'll get to that one in a moment. Um, how did your challenges go today? We did a mindset and a business combined talking um, where we wanted you to walk the talk. Are you walking what you are talking? So are you keeping an integrity? We're all about the integrity mindset. You know, what are your ethics, your standards that you live by? Are you working in those same standards as well? Um, do you have those same business ethics and standards as you do for your personal life? Um, or are you one of those that do as I say, not as I do type people? Um, so that is, um, that was our challenge today, so how did you get on with that? And for our fun challenge, oh yeah, it was, what recipes did you come up with that included beans, franks, and french fries to celebrate National Day for, um, French Fry National Day and Beans and Franks National Day? Um, I don't have any french fries or any beans. I do have franks, so I haven't been able to test that one yet. Um, yes might have to might have to pick up some stuff at a market but then I really don't want to get any french fries hmm I'm gonna stay away from the potatoes right now but figure something out um and I don't think Zephyr would appreciate the beans so today I have been busy I have been doing a lot of training um, for my media makeover mastery class that I'm taking it's a 12 week class and we have different workshops to do and I have been um, busy working on that today. I have also been calling a lot of campgrounds today around Colorado Springs, well in and around Colorado Springs, up in the mountains, um, towns close by, nothing available, zero. Some of them are only doing month to month, some don't have any reservations, don't have any openings until August. Um, most of them are no overnight stays right now um, because they're book solid. Um, the closest I can get right now is Le Mans, so I'm going to head there tomorrow. But because of my schedule, it is packed on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday with appointments. So I will probably stay in Le Mans till Saturday, but I will keep trying throughout. Because um, you never know if somebody's going to cancel. You never know. Um, so I'm going to keep my ears to the ground. And so tomorrow I'm going to head to Le Mans. And I will be there till Saturday and every day I'm gonna keep trying all the campgrounds again just keep doing all the call arounds and see if anybody's cancelled because you never know some people may cancel at the last minute you never know and when they cancel you just snap it up and unless you call you don't know because sometimes they will take the online reservation and come back and go nope we have no availability but if you call they might say oh we just had a cancellation did you really just have a cancellation or you just haven't taken it out of the system yet. You decided to leave that one looking like it was booked. So we shall see, we shall see. But um, it's been interesting because, um, yeah, with all the COVID stuff and everything going on, I wasn't sure where I would get in or anything like that because at one point um, Colorado was for um, residents only and so they've opened up to non residents and uh, so yeah it's interesting it's fun <laughs> once i get to Le Mans, i might have to do a change of schedule and like come back a little later to colorado springs i don't know but i really 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 want to get to colorado springs and see all my friends there um i've only met like two or three of them in person and everybody else i've met online i've been zooming with them for like two years some a year some two years i just want to get there and meet them i even have a friend who lives in denver denver no hang on Hang on, um, Columbine. Was that the one, Columbine? I think that was it, Columbine. Yes, 
somewhere, some, somewhere up around there in the Denver areas and Columbine areas, somewhere up around there. Um, and um, I've been friends with her for over seven years and we have never met in person. We keep missing each other. Like she'll say to me, are you going to this event? And I'll go, no, we can't go to that one because we've got this going on. And then I'll go, I'm going to this event, are you going to be there? And she's like, no, I can't make it that weekend. Da, 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 da. So we've always constantly missed each other at events. And some of them have just been like, hey, I'm going to be in town for a few days. Are you going to be here? She's like, no, I'm leaving. I don't come back to the day after. So there's just been all this missing the entire time. But we have spoken on the phone so much and we have Zoomed and everything else. And um, I can't wait to meet her in person. Um, but she's up in the Denver area. So um, I'm pretty sure it was Columbine. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's colorblind. So it has been um, an interesting day doing the learning, doing the modules that I need to do, working out um, target markets and target audiences and keywords and um, finding that there's a lot of business stuff that comes up and it's not sort of like, yeah, but I want the people stuff. I want to know who they're targeting. Um, so it's, it's, an interest, it's an interesting challenge. So I've got to get back to that. Um, so I'm going to make my reservation for Le Mans and then we'll figure it out from there. So I'll be busy online over the next few days doing classes, doing appointments, um, keeping up with my daily commitments for my 90 day challenge that I'm on as well as for the mastery classes while getting the workshop, getting the assignments and everything done. So it's a busy, busy, busy time and I'm having a blast. I just wish I could get to Colorado Springs sooner. I'm sorry all my Colorado Springs people. I am trying. If I had worked out my, if if, um, if the COVID thing hadn't happened, I would have already been in Colorado Springs. But um, yeah, I would have already figured out the schedule and everything else. But with this COVID thing going on, this been you know it's been waiting for it to open up and then figuring out my travel path and you know how long am I going to stay there, where am I going, and all that sort of stuff. So um, hmm. it's all on me, completely on me for not getting in sooner um, and working out my travel plan sooner and just playing it by air so it's completely on me for that but anyway I have to go because I'm getting reminded I have another call in 30 minutes <laughs> I tell you it's just go 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 this this last um, well, since I'm doing a 90 day challenge and the media mastery makeover um, it's a lot of it's been a lot of extra work going on which has been awesome I'm learning a lot and um, it's helping me narrow down my um, my markets and um, been doing some work on my genealogy stuff so we're getting ready to start um, I've got some PowerPoints I'm working on so I can do some um, some videos and talk about some of the terminology that you come across in genealogy give you a few hints and tips to getting started um, yeah there's there's a whole checklist for that stuff it's amazing how much stuff when you when you have to when you learn um, when you learn um, about processes and pro and projects within the processes it becomes a whole new ball game and um, it's it's a lot of fun I tell you it's a lot of fun I am thoroughly enjoying the challenge um, that I am undergoing right now it is it is so much um, getting you know the new businesses taking off and reformatting my travel business and getting the genealogy one up and running um, I mean but genealogy is up and running and uh, so it's um it's a lot of fun so now I'm going to be going from here gotta go grab a bite to eat since it's dinner time um, Zephy has she got annoyed when I closed the front blind because the sun was streaming in there and it was like at the hottest part of the day and I wanted to keep the heat out as much as possible. These AC units in here have not turned off the entire day. They've been going the whole day. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> That's how hot it's been. 33 degrees Celsius, whatever that translates to in Fahrenheit. Um, when I checked at one point, it was 33 degrees Celsius. And I have to keep it in Celsius because I text my mum and I text backwards and forwards each day. And um, so I don't have to convert. I have one weather program in Celsius and one in Fahrenheit. So, <laughs> but 33, it's somewhere like around, I think it's like around 96, I want to say. It's somewhere around the, the mid 90s, I think. But it's hot. And it's like 31% humidity, which means you get into that dry heat, which means you have to drink more. And I've been through so much water today. I... I could just about you know do a cleanse on water today 
it's been sort of like, okay, my water bottle's empty, get up, go fill, fill it. It's not even waiting until I get thirsty to go fill it, it's get up, go fill it now. Because I know in dry heat, um, it can be very dangerous if you don't keep your water consumption up. So I've been keeping the water consumption up very well today. I've been doing very good with that. And um, tomorrow they're expecting thunderstorms through this area. So I think to Le Mans I have a hundred and I think I have like 120 miles to go tomorrow. So we shall see. Thunderstorms. I'm not sure if I'm going to be driving towards them or away from them. That's going to be a good. That's going to make it a fun drive. <laughs> but it's all part of the adventure. And all I do if I'm not sure about anything is find somewhere safe to pull off to the side of the road. Um, I will have my rest area. In fact, I already have my rest area things lined up for tomorrow where all the rest areas are. Um, if there's an underpass coming up and it starts pelting down, I'm just going to pull over to the side of the road under the underpasses. I'm going to take my time. Um, along the 70 here, they're saying that the um, minimum speed is like 45, and I'm like, I can do that. I think it was, no, it was 40. The one I saw yesterday was 40. Yesterday, the day before, it was 40. So I'll just slow down. I'll have my hazards on so that they know that there's a slow vehicle coming up because there's nothing like looking in your re looking in the side mirror. Well, I can't say rear view mirror because I don't have one. Um, looking in your side mirrors and seeing these trucks come around you. It's it's um it's quite frightening at times. <laughs> but some of those trucks look amazing from the front when you look in the rear view mirror. It's like wow, that's a really cool setup. Um, and their colours. Oh my gosh. I saw this one the other day, it was um, it was this gorgeous, it was absolutely stunning purple. I have seen purple rigs before, but there was something about this particular purple on this rig that was stunning. It stood out amongst all the other purple ones I had ever seen before. It was gorgeous. And then right behind it was one that was done in, um, in teal, and behind that was um, pink yes there was a hot pink rig with with silver chrome on it it looked amazing um, and it was all and these trucks were all freshly washed it looked like they've been freshly washed they were all polished and clean and um, and then there was a midnight blue then there was a royal an elect no an electric blue it was electric blue and then what was the other one and then there were two yellow two bright sunshine yellow ones I mean the colors coming from the opposite direction on the rigs were just amazing and, um, but you see those guys come up behind you and you're sort of like, and I see them coming up behind me and then I look into the lane next to me to see is there anybody in their way or are they gonna be screaming on their brakes behind me? Um, but they always manage to make it out and around with no problem at all. So it's a lot of fun out there driving. So tomorrow if there are thunderstorms, if I am driving into the thunderstorms, I will be very careful and taking my time and pulling off um, at safe spots along the way um, to make it a safe journey. So. That's the plan right now. We're going to hit Le Mans and we will be there till Saturday and um, we're going to try and keep getting into Colorado Springs um, on Saturday. Fingers crossed. Yes. So, Colorado Springs on Saturday. We're going to find a way to make it happen. But anyway, that's it for me. i got to go. i got to go get something to eat before I get on to a, a call in a few minutes. So have a super fantastic sparkling day and we will catch you guys tomorrow morning with your challenge of the day. It'll either be while I'm on the road or before I get on the road. I haven't decided yet. Depends how quickly we need to get out of this place based on thunderstorms coming through. But anyway, have a super fantastic sparkling evening. Hakonera!